Shinjiru VBR sourcing is not only affordable, you can actually self-manage it and have a total control. Hi, I'm Mukri. For our first episode, I will demonstrate the basic. First, how to log in to your own client billing portal. Go to this link. Type in your email address and password and click login. This is what your client area or billing portal homepage looks like. Here, click on services tab and select my services. Now you have come to the my products and services page. Look for your VPS product and click on the active button. You can perform some basic tasks such as boot, reboot, shutdown and VPS control panel. For the first thing, all you need to do is change your password. Here's an expert tip for you. Never use password as your password. This will make your VPS very vulnerable to any attacks. Here are the real tips. Number one, make your password long. Number two, Use alphabetical and numerical characters. Number three, do not use symbol as your password, as the system will reject your password. Okay, back to work. Once you click on the control panel, you will be redirected to this page. Here you can see the list of PBS products under your account. Click on the Manage button to access your VPS automation client area. You are now looking at the client portal area. There's a lot of functionalities available here for you to self-manage your VPS container such as Reboot to restart your VPS Shut down to turn off your VPS Boot to start your VPS Reinstall, obviously to reinstall your VPS And Serial Console This is the remote console to your VPS if SSH fails that's it for our first episode. On the next video, I will show you on how to reset the VPS root password. If you need any help, you may contact our customer success team via Telegram. Thanks for watching.